yeah hello good you, good evening uh, so hope you're doing well so let's wait for another one more minute you know so and see if, if anybody joins hello yeah hi guys so hi joseph i hope i hope you can hear me so we can start the webinar now yeah so so today we are going to discuss about the area of triangles using horn's formula okay so how it works and everything so just a moment let me share the white whiteboard and ppt just a moment okay so here it is so the 
we're going to discuss about how to find the area of a triangles using Hearn's formula. Okay, so this is class nine topic, as you know. Okay, so before we go to the types of, I mean, how to find the, how to use this formula, let's try and learn the basics of triangles. So I hope everyone knows that the triangle is a 2D shape. It's a flat shape. It's, it's a polygon, which is three-sided polygon, which has three sides, yes. And what are the basic properties of a triangle? So these are the basics. So it has three sides, three angles, all three sides. I mean, the sum of three sides, three angles add up to 180 degrees and uh, and you can see that only one angle is always or maximum only one angle is greater than uh, 90 degrees and uh, and the last point as you see here the sum of the length of any two sides is always greater than the length of the third side okay let's let's quickly elaborate i mean let me elaborate, elaborate a bit this too let's go to the whiteboard So let's draw the triangle. Yeah, here it is. So we have a different types of triangle, but let's start with the basics. So as you see here, we have a three side. Let's call it as a ABC triangle. So this is angle A, angle B, and this one is angle C. So we have a three sides. These three angles add up to 180 degrees. So that's the one thing. The other thing, let's call the base length as a A, this side length as a C, and this as a B. Okay. So I'm just writing A, B, C. You, you know why I have written A here? You might have a question why you are writing A, a left, I mean, the, as a base and C in the left side and B in the right side. The reason is it's I have written in an opposite way. So here is a here is an uh, angle A. So I have written the opposite side as a side A. Okay. Similarly for a angle C and the side C. Okay. So this is how we generally elaborate. We, we generally uh, express the diagram using the sides and angle. Okay. So these are the three sides. So what the property says A plus B or C, any two sides. If you take any two sides, those length, sum of those length, that length must be greater than the third length. What do you mean by that? Let's take A equals to 5, B equals to 7, C equals to, let's take a 9. Is it possible to draw a triangle using this? Can anyone tell me? Is it possible to draw a triangle? using this? So can anyone tell me, is it possible to draw a triangle using this? Welcome, Arfan. S, no, okay. Okay, I would like to know the reason. So why it is not possible we just need to check, see, we just need to take any two sides. So you're going to take A plus B must be greater than C or else you can take A plus C is greater than B and, and B and C, the sum of B and C must be greater than A. So which means we need to check this. If this proves, this is, if it proves, then we can create a, then we can create a, triangle. Let's call it as uh, 5 plus 7 is greater than 5 plus 7 equals to 12, which is greater than the third number, which is C. And uh, A, which is 5 plus 9. What is 5 plus 9? 14 is greater than 9. So that is also correct. So the third one, B plus C, what is B plus C? 7 O plus 9. What is 7 O plus 9? 16 or greater than, oh, this one is, uh, just a moment, this one is 7, isn't it? Okay. And uh, 16 greater than 
fine. So which means all the conditions satisfies. If you take any two sides, the sum of any two sides is greater than the third side. So obviously we can create a triangle here. Yes, yes, I understand. I understand that, Anna. Yeah. So Arfan, are you able to follow me? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you please tell me if if we are able to draw a triangle, if we have A equals to two, B equals to seven, and C equals to C equals to twenty. Can anyone tell this? Is it possible to create a di? I mean the the triangle using these numbers. No, sir. No. Why? Because if you add two and seven, it is, is not greater than twenty. Yeah, it is less than twenty, so it is not possible. Okay, so we we can. I mean, we have three numbers. We can take any two of that. Okay, so all three must be satisfied. You can see the the conditions I have written. All these things must be satisfied to create a or to form a triangle. I hope you understand that. Okay. Now let's go to the types. Let's quickly. I think in the last webinar itself we we discussed a few. But uh, let's let's go and uh, recall these things again. So, what are the types of triangles? So we can we can we can create or we can classify the types of triangles using the two ways. One is using the side lengths, and the other one is using the interior. I mean, the angles using the interior angles. So, what do you mean by side lengths? So, how can we? I mean, find the types of triangles using sides. Using, I mean, these are these three are scalene triangle, the isosceles triangle, and the equilateral triangle. So these three triangles are based on sides, or else we can say sides plus angles. So these three triangles has tr sides plus angles. Okay. But if you look at the other three. acute obtuse and right angles these three triangles only depends on angles okay so what are the types of triangles we can say we have a six types of triangles three based on the sides and angles and the three based on only angles any questions so far guys arfan hana joseph any questions no sir okay So now let's go to the. Uh, let's try to uh, figure out each one separately quickly. So have a look at this. What is equilateral triangle? I hope everyone knows that. All the sides, I mean, the, all the side lengths, all three sides are equal, and all three angles are equal, which means each angle is sixty degrees, and each length is same. So let's say this is ten centimeter, and all are ten ten centimeters. and you can see the line here so this line indicates that these sides are same okay so i hope everyone knows this the equilateral triangle the next one the isosceles so what is isosceles triangle only two sides are what i mean two sides are same and one side is different you can see that this side and this side is same let's call it as a 10 cm this is also a 10 cm and the below one might be some some other value it, it might have a different value okay so and also the two angles are equal so as you see that these two angles are equal always in in, in an isosceles triangle and the top angle so this angle might differ based on the based on the other two so but all three angles add up to 180 degrees okay So the next one, the scalene triangle. What do you mean by a scalene triangle? All three sides are different, and all three angles are different. Each angle is different. I mean to say. Okay. So see, none of the sides are equal, and you can see that. So it here it has one thing. So this is denoted with the side length. Okay. So Even none of the angles are also equal. Yeah. Yes, are fun. Very good. So none of the sides are equal. None of the angles are equal. Very nice. 
yeah, that's why you can see that here one line, the two curves and the three curves, you can see that because each one is different. So this is about a scaling. So then the triangles based on angles. What do you mean by acute angle? Acute angle, which means all three angles must be less than 90 degrees. So each of the angle, each angle is less than 90 degrees. So then that triangle is called as acute triangle. I hope, I hope everyone understand. So then the obtuse in obtuse, obtuse triangle, one angle, just one angle is greater than 90. One angle is greater than 90. That, that angle can be anything. So only one angle is greater than 90. And one more thing, do I have a question for you? Mm, do we get a triangle where the two angles more than 90 degrees? You understand my question? Do we have a triangle where the two angles are more than 90? No, sir. No, sir. It's not possible. Is it is it? not. Imp it's impossible, sir. It's impossible. So only one angle is more than 90 at any case, the maximum. Okay, very nice. Okay, the next thing, right angle. So I, I don't think it's it's required to explain much this, because this is the this is one of the, I mean, daily usable or just recently and in mathematics we use this right angle everywhere, isn't it? In trigonometry, in geometry, in types of triangles, types of shape, shape everywhere, this right angle will be used. And what is right angle? One angle is always. 90 degree. I hope everyone knows what is 90 degree. Yeah. And uh, from this, as you know, the lengthiest side, this longest side is an hypotenuse side. And the other two sides are base and uh, base and height, if we can say, or else adjacent side and, and an opposite side, if you have an angles. So on, by using this right angle triangle, we can create what? We can create a Pythagoras theorem. So we are going to use the Pythagoras theorem using this right angle, which is a square plus b square equals to c square. So please keep it keep it in mind. I hope every I mean both knows this right. So, so because this is useful in finding the area as well. You can ask me how we'll discuss today. Okay, so done with the basics, guys. Now let's go to the area. What do you mean by any area of a triangle? So can anyone tell me that make it as interactive? What is area of a triangle? So how to find the area of a triangle? Arfan? Yes, sir. Yeah, so how, how do we find the area of a triangle generally? Half breadth times height. Yeah. So we have a base. Okay. You said breadth, bread, right? Yeah. So we can it's call it as a base or a breadth. So it, it it's not a prop. It's not the thing. We can use let's call it as a base since it's here it is. The B is the base, isn't it? So base times height divided by two. So this is the general way of or the basic formula to find the area of a triangle rather area of a any triangle if height is given i'm saying again this is a basic formula to find the area of a triangle when height is given if the height is given we can use this formula using the base and all because the triangle is a just half of a rectangle or a square, we, can, we can't say it is a rectangle or a square. It depends. It can be square. It can be rectangle. It can be four-sided shapes. Instead of saying the, the square and a rectangle, just call it as a quadrilateral. So it is half of a quadrilateral. So I'm just see this is a quadrilateral, but this is not a what you call it. 
I mean, none of the signs are equal in this quadrilateral, isn't it? So it looks a. It is a quadrilateral, but none of the sides are equal. So we can divide this triangle. It's not a half. We are connecting with two lines to make a triangle. As you see here, it creates two triangles. So any, what do you call it? Any quadrilaterals, by using quadrilaterals, we can create a two triangles. So that's the basic thing you can say. I hope you understand that, Anna. What about you, uh, Arfan? Arfan? Yes. Yeah. Got that? Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's go to the. Okay. So let's try a couple of questions. Find the area and uh, yeah, find the area of a triangle. One moment, I'm typing. If the base is seven centimeters and height is six centimeters, can you please tell me anyone quickly? Then we'll go to the Horn's formula. So I would like to listen the unit as well. Okay, that's nice. What about you, uh, Arfan? Arfan, what is the answer for that? Okay. One moment, one moment. I'm just typing the next question. Find the height of the triangle if the area is 70 centimeters and the base is 10 centimeters. Can you please answer this question? So 21 is a correct answer. 21 is correct answer. You know the reason? Seven times six divided by two, that's an area. So which is 42 divided by two equals to 21 centimeters square. So what about you? Uh, so height, so height equals to 14. So what is the formula? Area equals to half into base into height. Okay, let me have a look at this in now. Okay, so two, times area. So area would be 70 and 70 equals to half into base into 10. So if we make it as a 70 equals to 10 by 2 is uh, 5. So 5B, B equals to 70 divided by 5. What is 70 divided by 5? Okay which is 14, no? How you got uh, six, Anna? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so this is just a basic way of finding area of a triangle, okay? If it is given, okay, what if, if it is, if not it? So how to solve or rather how to find the area of a triangle if height is not given. Okay, no, no problem. No problem. Okay. So how to find the area of a triangle if height is not given? Joseph? Any idea? Anna, you? 
for example let's make it as this one so that triangle can be anything okay that triangle can be we can use any triangle let's say this is this is 8 centimeters this is 6 centimeters this is 5 centimeters so here height is not given so how do we find the area of triangle anybody this is are you going to find height if we are going to find height please tell me how split in off if it is yeah if it is perfectly middle then we can use it so which means that triangle must be either equilateral or isosceles but it looks like a scale in this day and also you can see that all three all three sides are different so obviously it is a scaling so we can't make the midpoint if we can if we, if we can make a midpoint this is this is not a height isn't it this this we are separating it into two triangles in that sense since i mean in that case also this is 3 cm this is 3 cm still we don't know the height of this one and this one so in this case if height is not given we are going to use the hans formula let me show you that guys yes yes joseph yep so here it is a hans formula this is how it looks like okay so you can see the diagram here so each side let's call it as a a b c as the side lens so what is the formula square root of s i will tell you what is s and s minus a s minus b times s minus c whole square root of a b c are the side lengths and what is s s is a half of perimeter what is s s is half of perimeter okay so let's try one question and and uh, i mean so that you will understand just a second yeah, let's take the same question, guys. So first, we need to find S value. So how do you find S value? Please add all the values. I will change uh, a value here, just a second. Let's call this as a four centimeters. Yeah, so now tell me, what is S? We just need to add all the all the signs, which is a perimeter six plus four plus eight. But make sure I said S is a half of a day, half of a perimeter. Please divide that by two. Can you please tell me the value of yes? Anyone? Nine. Very nice. So S equals to nine. So now tell me. Yeah. Yes. And yes, Joseph. So if S is 9, we are going to use that formula. What is that Hans formula to find the area? Square root of, listen here, square root of S into S minus A times S minus B and S minus C. Please substitute the values, guys. So I'm doing it here. I hope you can see my writing. 9 is the S value. So 9 minus A. Let's take any value as a here, any side length, 6, 9 minus 4, and uh, 9 minus 8. Please simplify this, guys. So 9, what is 9 minus 6? What is 9 minus 4? What is 9 minus 8? So and please simplify it again. What is 9 times 3 times 15? 3 times 15. I mean, 9 times 3 times 5. What is 15 times 9? I hope you got that, which is 9. Okay. Any questions? Just a moment. One moment. Yeah. So, what is 53 times 5 is 15, 15 times 9 is 
135. Okay, 135. 135 square, square root of 135. So either we need to write it in a, okay, I got a message. Okay, so why you said no, I didn't get you on a, so square root of 135 is, maybe we can write it in a decimal answers, but most of the times in, in exams or in, in, your, in your syllabus, in our syllabus, ninth class syllabus, you can see that, we need to write it in the simplest square root form. So you can write it as a 135, that's it. Square root of 135 centimeter square, that's it. That is the answer, that is the area. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So let's go to the next question. Just a moment, let me pick a question. Just a moment, guys. Yeah, here it is. Please try this question. Okay, please read the question once. Use the Hunt's formula to find the area of a triangle where the lengths are given and give the answer, give your answer using radical form. I hope you, you guys know what is radical means. Radical means a square root. Radical in a sense, it's not a square root, it's about the roots. It can be any type of root, okay? Okay. Anna said S equals to 13. Let me have a look. S equals to 5 plus 9 plus 12 divided by 2. So what is 5 plus 9, which is 14? What is 14 plus 12, which is 26? Very nice. So 26 divided by 2. So S value is... 30. So please use the formula area equals to square root of s value s times s minus the value 13 minus a times 13 minus 9 and then times 13 minus 12. Please simplify this. Please check 13 Okay. Eight, right? And then we have uh, what is that? Four. And then we have one. So please multiply this, guys. What is eight times four? Okay. So 13 times eight. 32 times 13, okay, 416, very nice, Joseph, yeah, okay, I think I, I missed to add one point in the previous question, let me do that there, see, 135 is, 135 is the final answer, so as the question says, write the answer using radical form, square roots form, so yes, it is the final answer, but make sure that we are in writing in the simplest form. Please check if we can divide this 135 by any of the perfect square numbers. We can divide this, this 35, 135 by 9, which is 9 times of 15. So 9 can be written as, square root 9 can be written as 3. So 315 is the answer. 315 centimeters square is the answer. Okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot to add that point. So make sure that. So if they ask you to write it in a decimal form, please do that. If not, make sure that we are simplifying the square root numbers. And the same here, guys. Four now 416. Please check. If we can divide this 416 by any of the square square numbers, perfect square numbers, I mean, 
what are the perfect square numbers for that case? 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. These are the perfect square numbers. It goes on, isn't it? Which is nothing but 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square. All these values are called as perfect square numbers, isn't it? So please check by what number you can divide the 16, I mean 416 by. Can anyone tell me? Joseph, Anna? So, 16, very nice. If we divide by 16, I know it, it will, it might take some time to, uh, I mean, to get that, to divide it, I mean, so which is 1626 or, uh, or 416. Okay. And you know that square root of 16 would be 4. So 426, square root of 26. So units are not given, so we can write it as a square units. Like this. So that's an area. So this is how we need to find the... So please make sure that we are writing it in the simplest form. Okay, Otherwise, you won't get the complete marks, I think. So they will reduce some marks there. So please take care of that. Okay, but most of the times as, as I mean, I just gone through the syllabus. So most of the times they ask us to write it in a square root form. Okay, so not in a decimal form. If they ask you to write it in a decimal answer, you can do that. You can write it and uh, as per the instruction, you can round it to one decimal or a two decimal based on the question, based on the given question. Okay, let's try one more guys before we go to the next type of questions. Just a second. Yeah, here it is. Have a look at this. Okay. Okay, you might have a question, what is third form, which is same as a ra radical form, which is nothing but other name of a third, okay? In different countries, we use it in different ways. Radical form, which is the square roots or a cube roots or whatever. So please go ahead and tell me the yes value guys here. Anyone? So six plus four plus five, which is 15 by two. Yes, Joseph. Uh, shall we make it, shall we keep it as a 15 by two? Yeah, seven by five is fine. Let's see. Uh, how we can use this in the in the formula, which is suitable, 7.5 or uh, or 15 by 5. Let's let's start with 15 by 2 and see, because multiplying the 7.5 a little trickier than this, right? So that's why. So okay, okay, I got you a point. Okay, I got you a point, because we we ended up getting. Uh, the different denominators, so that's not the good one to put. So I agree with you guys. 7.5 minus 4 and 7.5 minus 5 and 7.5 minus 6. Okay. Please check this. 7.5. What is this? 7.5, 4 take away from that. Uh, Joseph answered, okay, so my uh, 3.5, one moment, Joseph, uh, let me have a look at this, 5, 6, 7, so this is 2.5, and what is this, 6, 7, 1.5, Anna, so I think uh, we, I don't know, I think we will allow to use a calculator in the exams to solve these questions, if not, we don't have an option, we need to try it in a different ways by multiplying. Okay. Or else we can you we can keep it in a 15 by 5 as it is. So as you said, it is correct. Uh, 98.4375. And I hope you guys know that. I think if you learn the square roots, I mean square roots are as cube roots, the basic rule of square, square roots square inside the square roots we never supposed to keep a decimal number inside the square roots it never supposed to be are not supposed to keep the decimal answers inside the square roots which means either you are going to convert this into a 
into what? Into decimal answer, which is maybe around uh, square root of hundred would be would be ten. So this one may be around nine point nine. Yeah. So this is an answer. Yeah, around nine point nine. Yeah. So nine point nine square units. Okay. So this is correct answer, guys. Anna, are you able to follow me? So this is correct answer. But the question is given write it in a third form, which is radical form. Anna, are you able to follow me? Joseph, I think you understand that jo Joseph answered. So that's why I'm asking Anna. Okay. So the reason why I why I'm asking. Uh, the, the the question says write the answer in a radical form right so we are not supposed to write it in a decimal form so what we need to do now what we what what we need to do now s equals to 15 by 2 so please do that area equals to square root of 15 by 2 please use 15 by 2 and try i know it will take more time uh, or rather it's a little trickier than the decimal. Just have a look at this. So what I'm saying again, why we are using this method? Because the question is given in the question, they asked you to write in a radical form, in a square root form, that's why. And one more thing, here also we have a square root, but in decimals, we have the square root number. Inside the square root, we have a decimal numbers. We are not supposed to keep the decimal numbers inside the square roots. So that's why we are using this method. So quickly guys, just go to, go ahead and solve this, simplify this. Take a, I mean, please take the LCM and try. I'm just doing it. Two is the LCM, so 15 minus eight, 15 minus 10. And uh, the last one, 15 minus 12. I hope everyone, I mean, both agrees to this. If yes, let's go to the next step, which is 15 by two. What is eight take away from 15? Seven. What about this five? Yep, thank you. And what about this three, right? Three by two. Yeah, so please multiply this. I think it's a very easy now. Uh, so please multiply the numerator and denominator separately. So five threes are 15, 15 sevens are, 15 fifteens are 225, 225 sevens are, a thousand five seventy five. And this one, you know that it is eight, looks like the eight, yeah. I hope, I hope uh, you, I mean, you are able to follow this and now make sure that as I said, please simplify this. So how do we simplify? So please check by what number we can divide by what perfect number you can see that we can divide this 75 since we have a 75 at the end, we can divide by 25, 25 is a perfect square root number, isn't it? So if we, if we divide by seven, I mean, uh, by 25, we will get 63 guys. So I'm writing here, square root of, this becomes 63 times 25. And this one, four times two. Please have a look at this again. What is 25? 5 square root 63 by 2 square root 2. Joseph, Anna, are you able to follow that? Do you understand that step? If yes, we can also simplify 63 again because what is 63? 9 sevens are 63, isn't it? So 3 root 7. Okay, so I'm writing 63 as a 3 root 7. So five times three root seven divided by two root two. So what is the answer? 15 square root seven by two root two. 
Oh, that's a nice question. I hope you got that, guys. Anybody has any questions? Okay. Kind of complicated. So Joseph, if you want, I will, I will tell you, I think you understand till the multiplication, if you multiply, we'll ended up getting, see, I will write that step again, square root of Okay, 15 by 2, 7 by 2, 5 by 2 and 3 by 2. Okay, 5 by 2 and 3 by 2. Okay, so see, I, I have taken this question, uh, I mean, randomly. So after solving, I got one more idea in this. So you can solve this question even simpler. So just multiply the numerators and denominator, guys. Five threes are 15. What is 15 15 sir? 225. So 225 is a perfect square root. Joseph, Anna, do you understand that? 225 is a perfect square root, square number. You know why? Because 15 square is 225. And then we left with seven here. I'm writing that seven directly here. And this Okay, I think we have a 16 guys. I, I, we written for eight there. Two twos are four, four fours are 16. So we have a 16 in the denominator guys. So I think it, it's very easier now. You can see that square root of 225 divided by the square root of 16 and we left with the square root of seven. What is square root of 225? 15 square root seven by four. Joseph, is it, is it better? Look better? Look simple now? What about Anna? Do you understand that? So, so that's why we just need to make, we just need to make the sim, I mean the calculations a little simpler. So instead of multiplying what I did, instead of multiplying the numerators, five threes are 15, 15, 15 are 225. So 225 is the perfect square root so I have, we have written that separately and we have kept this seven separately. So that makes our job a little easier to solve this. Okay, so please don't forget to add the unit, unit squares. Okay. Okay, so I have an interesting question for you guys. We will solve one more question if required, but after some time, let's try uh, this question first. There it is. One moment, guys. Surely you will like, I mean, you're going to like this question. Have a look at this question. Very interesting. Please read the question. A park in the shape of quadrilateral. So they didn't mention rectangle, square or whatever. So they didn't mention anything. The quadrilateral, that's it. A, B, C, D, which means the four sided shapes. Angle C is 90 degree and they have given some lengths. A, B, B, C, C, D, A, D. What is the area does that park occupies? I hope you understand the question. So please draw the diagram so that, uh, I mean, little make, make uh, the question a little simpler. So please draw the diagram first, sorry. Yeah. So please have a look at that. Angle C is 90 degrees. So let's draw a 90 degree one. So this is the 90 degree, okay. So this is a 90 degree, okay. So this is nothing but a C. But because they have given angle C is 90 degree. And, but it is a quadrilateral four sided shapes. So, and you can see that they have given in a different, uh, what do you call it? Different dimensions. Each one is different. If this one is C, let's call this one is a D because CD is given guys. So, okay. 
So C D is given. So C and D is next to each other. So let's call this as a ten centimeters. Similarly, if please check what is the next number which is next to C B C. Please have a look at that. B C is given, which means B and C are also next to each other. So this is going to be B, guys. So what is B then? What is B C length? Twenty four centimeters. And then what we'll do? Just have a look at that. A D. We don't know where is D. Let's let's make it as a D here somewhere here. And only one angle is oh. So this looks like a. Right angle, so I'm I'm going to make in a different place. I'm going to draw the D in a different place. You know why? Because only one angle, angle C is 90 degrees. So I'm going to connect this and this one as well. So that's not a D. Sorry, that's sorry, that's not a D. That's A. So this point is A. So please check what is AB length. AB length is 18 centimeters. And what what is given, guys? What is given, guys? AD sixteen. AD sixteen. Thank you, Joseph. Okay. I think I have we have drawn correctly. So, how to find the area of this? Very interesting, isn't it? So, what we'll do is, one angle is ninety degrees. So that 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 makes our job little easier because we can draw one line here. So this forms a triangle, as you see here. One angle is ninety. So this is a right angle triangle. If it is a right angle triangle, this is ten centimeters. This is twenty-four centimeters, isn't it? Okay. If that is ten centimeters, we can find the area of this triangle. Area of that part, okay. That's a very simple uh, one. Very good, Joseph. I mean, very good, Anna. Sorry. Okay, one twenty. But how to find the area of this one? This looks like a type of a triangle. We don't know. It may be isosceles. It it can't be isosceles. It must be the scale in, as you see, the different lengths. So we must find this length first. So please use the Pythagoras theorem and find this length. Twenty six. Uh. Let me have a look at that, Joseph. So twenty-four square plus ten square. What is twenty-four square, Anna? Uh, Joseph. Five seventy-six. Okay, five seventy-six plus hundred equals to c square. No, c square equals to six seventy-six. Are you sure about the six seventy-six square root? No. Very nice. That's very nice. So you said twenty six. I hope uh, Anna, did you got that? Okay. So I think it's very easy now. So Anna already said that the the area of let's call it a right angle triangle is one twenty centimeters square. So please find the area of the other triangle, which is a area of ABD triangle. ABD. Area of ABD triangle. So how to find that? So obviously we are going to use the what is that? The Hartz formula, right? So let's go to the next page and use the Hartz formula. So the lengths are given eighteen. We got twenty six, and one more we have sixteen. Please go ahead and use the the Hartz formula to find the area. Can you please tell me the S value, guys? Joseph, S value is sixty. Okay, a thirty. Okay, okay. Let me have a look at this. Okay, sixty by two, which is thirty centimeters. Uh, so, what is area, guys? Square root of thirty. Thirty minus eighteen. Thirty minus twenty-six, and finally thirty minus sixty. Thirty times twelve times sixteen, right? Four, right? Okay, and then this one becomes a forty. <laughs> That's a lengthier one. 
that's a very big one. Okay, let me have a look at that, Joseph. So, I think you are right. Joseph, you are right. I think Anna will tell us that. So, is there any easier method to do instead of, instead of multiplying all these numbers? Is there any easier method to do? Yeah, so try to make it simplify. So, divide. So, please check that this 4 is fine. What is 30 times 12? What is Joseph? Uh, Anna, please uh, listen carefully here. Please listen carefully. Please multiply this 30 and 12. Can you please tell me what is 30 times 12? 360. 360. Very nice. And then I am writing that 4 as it is and that 14 as it is. You know why I have... Re okay, 36 can't be dividable. It's not a perfect square root number, right? Oh, I'm sorry. So then we need to do... We need to think in other ways. I thought 6, 6 at 36, so it, it might uh, it might go that, so it won't go. So just think of the other way. So as Anna said, all the all these numbers are divisible by 4. So we, we do have a 4 here. So we can take 2 outside. We can take 2 outside because square root of 4 would be 2. And what next? So please check, guys, if there any easier method to. Okay. So we can write 4 as a, I mean, 12 as a 4 times 3. So I'm going to take this 2 as, this 4 as well outside. So 4 square root of 30 times 3 times 14. Please check if we can make it something here. 10 threes are 10 threes are 30. We already have one more three here. So four, 14. So three square is nine. So if you take out uh, nine, a square root of nine, we'll get three outside. Okay, that looks better. And we left with one 10 times 40. So is it is it possible to simplify 140 by any number? Is it possible to divide 140 by any number? Please check guys. You can't divide by 16 or 9 or, uh, or any number I think. You want to check it in a prime format, okay? Two seventies are okay. We can divide by four then, isn't it? So one forty divided by four. What is one forty divided by four? Which is thirty five. So seventy and seventy. Okay, so obviously thirty five. So four, four thirty five are. So I'm going to take this two as well outside. So I'm writing here. So area equals to four times three times two. Finally thirty five. I don't think thirty five is divisible. Okay. Just a moment. Okay. So that's it, guys. Area would be 24 square root 25. It would be great if you, if you would have taken, I mean, if, if you could have taken or uh, if you got uh, the exact number, centimeter square. So which is same as if you want me to write it in a decimals, 141.985, 141.985. So let's call it as a rounded, let's round it to 142 centimeters square. 
and if you go to the previous page so i mean i'm just rounding for uh, understanding purpose guys but uh, based on the instruction given you just need to answer in the exams so we got 142 approximately and the area of uh, of the total total park area of that park would be 262 cm square approximately again joseph do you understand that anna what do you think joseph did you felt easier question i mean easier this question what do you think okay okay so that's it guys i hope you understand the the concept of why we are using the hunts formula because if the height is not given when the height is not given in a in a triangle we can use the hunts formula and you might have a question i think no one asked me this question i was expecting this question actually so i will tell you that and then we'll conclude after that just a second so this is a right angle triangle uh can we make it as a 12 5 what is this 30 so if if this two if these two sides are 12 cm and 5 cm what is the other side joseph anna this side is 12 this side is 5, 5 cm and please find the hypotenuse sides quickly 13 i hope you everyone agree yeah i hope you you agree that okay so why i am explaining that so what is the area of this diagram guys what is the area of this triangle what is the area 90 no 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 area 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 of triangle area of this triangle 30 the, 30 base into height Uh, divided by two. That's what, right? Sixty divided by two. Very, very good, uh, Joseph and uh, and. Uh, so, but one more thing, you can see that all the side lengths are given, isn't it? Shall we use the um, the Hans formula and check whether we get thirty? Interested? Want to try? Yes, no. Okay. So please add it. Thirteen plus five is eighteen. Eighteen plus twelve is thirty, I think. So thirty divided by oh, it's not sixty. It's thirty, right? Joseph, I think you mean to say thirty. So thirty divided by two. So S value is fifty. Yeah. So S value is fifteen. Please find fifteen. Fifteen minus twelve. What is fifteen minus twelve, and what is fifteen minus thirteen, uh, and then what is fifteen minus five? Quickly. So fifteen, three, two, and ten. And uh, I think please go ahead and multiply by all the numbers. Two threes are six. Six. Six ten sir, sixty. What is six fifteen sir? Ninety so nine hundred. So that's that's nice. So I hope everyone agree that square root of nine hundred would be thirty centimeters square. Okay. So so why why explain this? We can use any of the method if if the sides given if. if all the sides given when we are going to use this hans formula when all the sides are given and they will ask us to find the uh, area so that is a one thing other one when they are not given the height if the height is not given we need to use this formula if not we can use of bh directly that's a very simple formula to use i hope uh, i hope you guys understand so that's it of today's class guys Any questions, Joseph? Anna, any questions? Okay. 
So have a couple couple of questions to try. If you want, please go ahead and try these questions. See, in this question, they clearly given the height. So obviously, no need to go for a Hertz formula, isn't it? So we can use the, the the basic formula of BH and find it. Can you please tell me the answer, anyone? What is the answer for this? Joseph, Anna. <laughs> Okay, let me have a look. No. Anna, I think you, you made a small mistake there. It is 77 over 2, which is 38. Huh? Yeah, 38.5. Anna, do you, do you understand that? I don't know where you missed it. Okay. Okay, I think you are finding uh, the area of each each triangle separately, isn't it? So this area would be twenty eight, and this area would be uh, the ten point five. I think so, isn't it, now? Okay. That's nice to see. We can solve in different methods. Okay. One more question. Surely the last question, guys. Okay. So two lengths are given as a same, which is three and three. Two lengths are given as a three and three. What do you mean by that? It is a isosceles triangle. It is a isosceles triangle. So this is in height. So obviously this is going to be a three, this is three and this is two. So which means this becomes a one and this portion becomes a one. So we can use this three and three, we can, yeah, we can use directly, but here they asked us to use the Hans formula. We can use the Hans formula. Okay. But if it is isosceles, I'm, I'm keep on telling if it is isosceles or the scale in, we can try it. Uh, but uh, but if it is a scale in, we can't use this, isn't it? Because we can't find the height by using uh, Pythagoras theorem. Uh, Anna, do you understand that? Six centimeters. I don't think it's six centimeters. Let me have a look at this. Square root of eight. This is a square root of eight. So off into base into height. So obviously again, we will end up getting the square root eight. Anna, you confused a bit somewhere. If, if you do it with the Pythagoras, so you tried using uh, Hans formula. Which method you used, Anna? What is the method you used? Can you please tell me the method you used? This one, Pythagoras theorem. Okay. But how come? Have a look at this. This is the isosceles triangle. This one is the height. This is three. This is three. This complete length would be this complete length would be two. So which means this is going to be one and this one is going to be one. So how do you find the Python this this one? This height a square plus b square. Uh, okay, c square. So so one square plus B square equals to three square and B square equals to nine minus one and B equals to square root of eight. Okay. So height becomes a square root of eight. 
so we can use any method we will end up getting the same same answer but please remember we are going to use the hans formula when when height is not given or rather when we are not able to when is is i mean if not if we are not able to find the height of a triangle then we are going to use the the hans formula of a triangle okay guys thank you so much please take care have a nice day